Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Mediterranean monk seal. Please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Fact 1. Rare with 600 to 700 remaining. The Mediterranean monk seal is a very rare animal. Its habitat is limited, pretty much within the Mediterranean Sea and its known population is currently around six to seven hundred individuals. There's also several colonies of a few hundred individuals that compose of the entire species of these monk seals. So as you can see, they're very endangered. These monk seals are very critical and they are going to be extinct if not careful in terms of preservation and awareness about how rare they are. In fact, anytime there is a sighting of the Mediterranean monk seal gathers a lot of attention from scientists and animal enthusiasts. They're quite rare to see. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. Limited Habitat As I mentioned in the previous section, the Mediterranean monk seal is extremely limited habitat. You can see the portions highlighted here. This is roughly the known areas where the Mediterranean monk seals live. While the habitat range is not tiny like the vaquitas, the small whales near the Gulf of California, but at the same time, they're not very widespread. These monk seals are extremely rare and I think part of the reasons why they're in danger is simply because they're unable to live in other parts of the world. If you think about it, if an animal can adapt to many different kind of habitat environments, such as temperature and weather and so forth, then they could probably survive better. With the Mediterranean monk seal, they can only really survive in the temperate waters of the Mediterranean and a little bit outside in the Atlantic Ocean. And so when your habitat is really limited and you cannot adapt to new climates or new conditions, it makes it challenging to have a thriving population. So we'll get into the next sections on why their numbers are dwindling. But as I think, when the habitat is such a small range, it's very challenging. It's challenging to breed and have many of these seals repopulate the area. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. Birth in caves. Another very interesting part of the monk seal is that they require caves to survive in terms of propagating their species. The female Mediterranean monk seal needs to seek out caves that are near the water to give birth. They don't live their entire lives in the water. They do spend the majority of their time in the water, but they require these marine caves in order to have their pubs. And also, they need to be careful when these caves get flooded because the pups may not survive. And so usually they pick caves that have multiple entries and exits so that when there's flooding going on, they could easily get out of the caves. I think it's also another limiting factor to their population because these kind of caves with multiple entries and exits aren't that common. And for them, if one is lost, it is likely unable to reproduce because they don't have or cannot find another suitable cave to give birth to new pups. So they need to learn more adaptability in my opinion and give birth on man-made platforms and so forth in order to have a better chance of survival. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. Since ancient times. As you might know, the Mediterranean is home to several very ancient civilizations. Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greeks, and so forth. And as a result, the Mediterranean monk seal has been in mythological stories from across all these ancient civilizations. All these ancient civilizations have writings or stories documenting the encounters with the Mediterranean monk seal. In fact, in Egypt and the Assyrian empires, they call it a river man. And so these monk seals, unfortunately they're dwindled in numbers, was probably a lot more plentiful during ancient times. And with their contact with humans, during ancient times, they made their mark 
in ancient mythological stories and statues, as well as drawings. I think it's a shame that even though these animals have survived thousands and thousands of years of ancient human civilization, they're looking to be extinct with only six to seven hundred individuals remaining in the wild. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact four: conflict with fishermen. One of the major reasons why the monk seal is dwindling in numbers is their conflict with fishermen. Yes, habitat loss is also a contributing factor, but habitat loss is not as prominent as the conflict with fishermen. What usually happens is that when the fishermen get out to the Mediterranean and also the Atlantic to hunt for fish, they cast wide nets with bait in them. The monk seals see the baits and simply go in and destroy. Their netting and the fishing vessel setups for fishing, and so this not only creates problems for themselves becoming entrapped in the nets, it also disrupts the fishermen's livelihood because now their fishing nets are devoid of bait and they're unable to catch any fish. And as a result, despite the dwindling numbers and the endangered status of these monk seals, the fishermen get angry about these monk seals destroying their Fishing activities and kill them on purpose. Yeah, that's right. Despite the fact that it's illegal to kill monk seals, whenever fishermen's operations get disrupted by them, the fishermen do kill them. And so they need to work out a problematic situation here and find a common resolution in order to prevent further killings of the monk seal and to let the fishermen have their livelihood. All right, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.